Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. Whatever time it might be, welcome back to my garage. It is an exciting day because I finally got a product to review. I've had a couple of them come up, but this one I'm excited about. And what am I talking about today? Engine degreaser. That's right. What this claims is that you can just spray it on your engine and you're gonna have a clean and shiny engine. So that's what I'm gonna check out today. All I'm gonna do, protect the insides. I'm gonna make sure I protect the um, alternator, any um, cabling, not really cabling, but the, you know, where the ECU is. I'm gonna spray it on and rinse it off. Let's see if this gunk engine degreaser actually works. So preparation for this project is super simple. First thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the battery. That's just so I don't have any electricity running through the engine. And that I'll just place off to the side. I'm gonna actually place it in here because the next part two of preparation is gonna be protecting the actual wiring In part two of the preparation, in part two of the preparation is going to be protecting the wiring. So I'm going to want to cover this ECU panel just so it doesn't get overly wet. I can use a microfiber towel. I don't get a whole bunch of water and degreaser onto them. Hopefully, everything else is gonna be all right. I'm trusting you, gunk. Do not fail me. But I can always come back and wipe it down with the microfiber towel. Now that the engine is actually protected, I got my EC over here, my alternator, which I saw a little bit, make sure this is covered up and good. And I'll still blow out it with air once it's done to make sure everything's dry. I'm gonna go ahead and spray on this heavy duty, heavy duty degreaser. Doesn't give a time on how much it should sit, shake well, let it soak for 10 to 15 minutes, come back, brush it, and I should have a nice clean engine, what it looks like just on here. So here we go. All right, so it's spraying on pretty nice. As advertised, it's more of a gel than a foam. The engine is very nice, cold, it sat overnight. Haven't used it actually for a couple of days now. Since I wanted to do this yesterday. Get every nook and cranny. Looks like I'll be using the entire bottle to get all over this. I'll try and get the places that are more greasy than just dust. Because that's going to rinse right off. Like these reservoirs, that's more of a grease and cooked on. Engine, definitely get this. And definitely get into these tight little spaces. And it looks like that's it. Still some product in there, but... Aerosol's out. So let's let this sit for 10... 15 minutes and come back and give it a quick brush.
Did it work perfect? No. Maybe two or three more cleanings, it would look really good. Right now, it's so so. It got off a lot of it. As you can see, I even got it on my hands. Pretty dirty, but it didn't do that picture perfect job. And then I'm putting it on the protectant and it's gonna look all shiny, perfect and new throughout the years. No, engines don't work that way. <laughs> They're dirty and they get dirty, but it looks a lot better. And that caked on grease and dirt is gone. There's still some there, but two or three more cleanings. If I wanted to really get at it, it's gonna look good. But I'm gonna let it air dry right now. You already saw I blow dried it just with the leaf blower. Get off the big puddles of water. I'll let this set for about half an hour, more or less. I'll fire it up and see how she runs. And there we go. So thank you very much for watching. It runs, it works. That's the best part about it. I don't have a dead truck right here in my driveway. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate everything you guys do and help out with the channel. And as I always say, and I mean it straight from the heart, ride safe, drive safe, and please keep at least two wheels on the road.